Howdy folks, welcome back to SnowRunner. We are on my new playthrough on Steam. We are on Northport. This is the Kenny 10x10 that I had the radar trailer behind. We're going to use it today to start out with a couple wooden planks and then go to a couple wooden beams. This is the only thing I have on the map at present that could do two metal beams at the same time. The other uh, 12 by 12 it only can only carry three spots. And it's in the wrong place to get the wooden planks. So, we are here. The wooden planks are there. The Rock Falls job is there. The metal beams are up here where the other Kenny is sitting. We'll grab two of those and then we'll do Stonefall and Metal Bridge. And we will get Trailer Park in between Stonefall and Metal Bridge because it has access to location. So that's uh, one, two, three, four jobs. Should, uh, should be able to fit that in. So let's get going. Despite what it looks like, it is 0600 in the morning. Looks like it's late evening. Let's see, we're going straight up and around the loop. Straight up and around, back down. Let me make a couple of marks. Around through here, back down, and then a turn there, and then we go into the sawmill. just so I don't screw up and go the wrong way. The goof ups always make it take longer. So that was a harder turn than I thought it would be. No time for time contest right now. I feel a little better today. I had a lot of sleep between yesterday and last night although last night was all broken up terrible between not being able to go to sleep and then getting up waking up every couple hours I didn't really get good sleep until later in the morning Although I was trying to go to sleep at 10.30. Then I was still trying to go to sleep at midnight. <laughs> uh, see. Yeah, it's over there. I knew I came in from that side. Let's make a couple marks for the return trip because it'll be a little different. I'm going to go straight through this intersection, follow this around, and straight down to Rock Falls. So, kind of like 
like uh, straight off the end of the road, sort of. I remember last year when I was doing Alaska the first time, I worked on the other side of the map first. But my trucks are over here, so the good jobs are over here. So here we go. Probably why I kept going around the broken bridge so much because I didn't fix it right away. I suppose I was looking at, yeah, I just follow this. I just didn't uh, make any additional marks through the middle here. I suppose I was on the other side of the map by the garage thinking, wow, it's a long way to get metal beams. So I just did the jobs over there that I could get to. All depends on circumstances, you know. Circumstances today are that I'm on this side of the map. And there's jobs I can do on this side of the map. Technically, I could haul one of those two metal beams with me right now instead of going back for it. There's a trail between Rockfall and Stonefall, and it takes you right past Trailer Park. We did it this way. Ah. Excuse me. I'd still have to go back after Stonefall and get the other metal beam. So it really doesn't matter. Except maybe I could hop in the other truck for the other metal beam instead of coming back. Rockfall is done. We need Stonefall. And then we need right up here next to the small scout flatbed is Trailer Park. So we want to hit this road. And then right in here. We want to just keep going straight. And then after Stonefall, we want to come up here and 
come in here I say keep going straight at that intersection, but it won't necessarily look like that when we get here. In theory, this road should be the one that goes straight through, but you'd have to make a right turn, a detour, it says. Well, that'd be the detour through the swamp because Stonefall is blocked. One metal beam, and that is done. Now we gotta take uh, an excessively sharp turn. Left turn here. You know, they. No, oh, never mind. Oh yeah, this is better than using the detour. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really opened it right up, didn't it? Mm-hmm. This is a much better road than the detour. Oh, for fuck's sake. On the ground? probably connecting to something on the other side that's just gonna uh, break off but uh, maybe not come on there get done wigging out and get a wiggle on all right and we are at the next obstruction Oh my, oh my, oh my. Mm. Yep. Really worth fixing so we could use this fantastic road instead of the detour through the swamp. Uh, right here is, I thought we were doing something wrong, but then, uh, well, trailer park is completed. Yay. Now we gotta get back out of here hopefully without using that messed up bullshit maybe right through here the detour is a wide open road except for the water All right, let's see if this is possible. Or maybe over the edge past the trailer. Uh, 
Well, that don't look too good, does it? Come on. Thought it wasn't moving because the brake was on, but the brake wasn't on. Let's see, let's try to go over this way. Whoa, and... Uh, well, I had to turn into the lean, which took me down that little chute there. But I was going to lose the truck and the cargo both without turning into the lean. So, that's how it happened, <laughs> that we ended up here. Alright, now let's go back to the map and fix those waypoints we don't need. Well, that was a big ass shortcut. Let's head for Metal Bridge. Sometimes you just gotta improvise. Well, that took 17 minutes, and I don't really, I didn't plan anything beyond this. Hmm. One metal beam laid down concrete. Okay, yeah, that's feasible. All right, well, I don't know what's next. This said to access to location. It looks like you can get service pair parts there now. But why would I go all the frickin' way up there to get service pair parts when I can get service pair parts right here? doesn't make any sense to me radio station popped up popped up next find radio station see we excuse me we've got a truck right here we could get up there we could probably go around like this or something or just through the woods down this main road up in there. So where are we at? Okay, let's uh, pull this off to the side so it's not totally blocking the road and kill the engine, go to the other truck all I'm doing at this point is just killing time, basically. <laughs> uh, I'm still getting jobs done, but not necessarily important ones. Let's take a closer look at this. 
Yeah, if I went around the trees and got on this, then I could get on this or this. Looks like a pretty steep bank right there. Come through here, looks pretty rocky, and go up to the radio station. Then I'm stuck way up there. But we'll see. Well, if I'm going to do that, let's put a couple marks here. And then we'll check it out when we get up that far. No freight on this one. Of course, there's maybe a freight job we could do after this one, but it would take a long time to figure out any combination of jobs. That made sense. Going to use my Trees Dawn mod. Bust through there. Go this way. And I think there should be a left turn right up here. There's that left, and it goes back to the right. Can I go straight up and over? Huh. Sure as hell looks like it, right? Yeah. Can I bust through the fence without getting any damage? And that's that. We found the radio station. Deliver to the house on the hill and International Lodestar 1700. Where is that shit? That that's, can't go to waste. The lodestars wait on there by the other truck. The house on the hill is wait on there by the other truck. So, I guess we'll jump in the other truck. Sure, why not? The I'm just taking them as they come, I guess. For the rest of this episode and for the next one, I'll try to plan something. There we are. Oh, excuse me. Um... Hmm. Looks like it could be difficult to get to. Well, no, not if I go across the bridge and turn here. I'm not saying that road won't be difficult, but actually that's where we drop it off. Okay, never mind. We pick it up here. So we gotta go back 
down to here and turn this way and probably cut across that little bottleneck or whatever you want to call it there. And this is where we pick it up. And then we go across the little bridge, come back out this way, go across the little bridge, up around here, maybe, maybe more like this, because that's going to be a bitch of a corner. And in there, all right. Turn this puppy around. Yeah, that sign stayed on the ground. Don't want it wadded up under my truck. Those little signs I knock down always regenerate when you log off. Let's see, I said it was going to go straight across. which worked very easily. And I'm here, just like that. What was that, one minute? Only I gotta get turned around. I'm not loading freight, so I wanna hook up to the ass end. <laughs> Stopped right on his bumper. Oh, stop rolling, truck. All right. Tow it in. And away we go. Something like that. And I already got the other points marked out. Change my view a little bit and away we go. That's the truck behind me making noise, taking damage. Roads, we don't need no stinking roads. All right, that's 30 minutes, six jobs. Hmm. Uh, I can't do oil tank delivery without a truck with a high saddle. But where is it? It's fuel station way up there on the north side. Nope, the oil tank's right there. Well, that's not far from the garage. And then I could just continue up this road to where it goes.
I've got a 10 by 10 in the garage with a two spot and a high saddle. So let me shut this one off. And then go to the garage. Truck storage. Cell. I want this guy. High saddle, two spot. That should work unless the unless the two spot gets in way. That oil field tanker has a very long nose on it. The kingpin is the kingpin is set way to the back. Well, we'll go see, I guess. Wouldn't be nothing to take the basket off of it right now. Instead of coming back. But we could do maybe bags on ice or something after, as long as it does have the basket. Whoops. Okay. Take a right, take a left, and take a left. And cross your fingers. We don't have to come back. Maybe we should take two trucks up, one with the basket, one without. You know, that don't sound like... <laughs> I said that just... You know what? If the first one won't haul it, this one will. Pretty sure that's a high saddle. Low saddle sits closer to the deck. I said that just being funny, but um, you know, that's not a half bad idea. Preferably, I will use the 10 by 10, but... Just in case. As far as buying equipment, I've got about 750 grand in the bank now. Between, well, it's probably over eight after selling that BM-17. But that's what I was about to say. Between selling vanilla equipment that I recover from the map and then... Um, the jobs that I've done getting this far.
Oh, oh it's, it's this, this kind of trailer. Well, shit. I guess I assumed it was one of the big ones that you need a high saddle for. Well, you know what they say about assume. I could have just backed up and hooked it, I suppose. Look how high it reaches up <laughs> with the nose down like that. Anyways, uh, so now we got a spare truck sitting here. Just want to shut the engine off. That's all right. Can I get back in the other one? Turn the map. There we go. Now turn the map back. And go straight up this road. And then pretty much straight across to the fuel station. So the fuel station has fuel. Let's go to it. This is what, number seven? Want to see over the cab a little bit better. You know, if I'd been thinking right, I would have left the 10 by 10 with the two spot basket down to the south so I could do bags on ice and brought the 6x6 up here to the north with the trailer to get rid of because the 6x6 isn't good for anything other than something like this without a trailer on it. All right, accept again. I think seven jobs is my limit for one day. <laughs> uh, let's see, drowned Hummer. That truck is right here. And where does it go? To the parking at the garage. Ah, oh, sure, why not? And we got rock obstacle over here. Probably gonna have to go to the sawmill for lumber, I would imagine. The last rock obstacle was lumber. Now oh, this one's a metal beam. But I got a metal beam right there, even closer than closer than the sawmill. So it is good that I've got the two spot up there. And this will work fine for drowned Hummer. God, why is everything working out so great? I want to just uh, say call it good and <laughs> go back to sleep. Well, actually, it's almost noon, so get some lunch and then go back to sleep. But we'll jump to the other truck after I shut this one off. And we'll make it uh, daytime again. How about afternoon? 
It's the only way we see ever see any good daylight. And we'll jump down here. And we'll go get the Hummer. I never mind. No. I want to go from the truck I'm in this way. Oh yeah, that's out there. Um, -dum 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 -dum. I suppose keep going down this way. Cut over here and then out there to it. All right, here we go with number eight. But this is bright afternoon. I guess Alaska's just plain dreary all the time. This can't be winter time in Alaska. There wouldn't be any mud or liquid water. Must be like spring or something. Of course, I never got that about any of the winter regions. Regions that, like Kola Peninsula, isn't that pretty much Frozen year round. But yet, according to Snow Runner, there's open lakes, open rivers, um, mud everywhere. But yet, the roads have ice on them. The roads are black ice. But the rivers are open. Huh? How does that work? The lakes aren't frozen, but there's black ice on the roads. Hmm? Tell me how that works. Up through there and in. We just got to get this thing... I was going to say get it turned around, but you know what? Screw that. All I got to get pointed the right way is my truck. Snow Runner likes to give them to us pointing the wrong way, so fuck it. I'll take it in the wrong way. It's trying to get away from me. They want to give it to me, ass first. I'll. Oh, never mind. I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> I'll pull it in backwards. <laughs> That's better than what I was going to say. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta stop and think. I used to use this route all the time before I had the trees down mod. I'd have to go around these stumps, you know, and not knock the trees down. And so I had a like a slalom course through here to avoid the stumps but now I don't have to avoid the stumps ok 
confuse me. I'm going to take a wider swing at the, at getting under the pipeline there. Hmm. Didn't even knock the sign down, although the wheel kind of clipped through it. Yeah, well, blame it on SnowRunner for being backwards. I'm not going to take another five minutes on the job to turn it around. I don't have to fix it, just deliver it. Yay, got a Hummer done. Let's release the winch. I suppose if we change to it, we can put it in the garage. Trying to get on the Kenny. There we go. <clears throat> Just uh, back it around the corner or something. Here we go. Now that it's parked and shut off, game automatically went to rock obstacle, which we know is a wood, uh, no, a beam, 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 something like that. Um, here's my other truck, and we'll go get a metal beam. We haven't run across the top yet. Well, except for using the radar trailer. I think we more or less went down into the middle with that. Uh, but anyways, who cares? All right. Hmm. 
took a drink of my diet green tea with ginseng and then started to choke or I could feel it getting there. I used to, I got the mic turned off before I blew all your eardrums out. Um, why am I pushing V when I want M? Oh yeah, right. Brain doesn't work. Um, just go around till I find it. This is going to be the last job, by the way. We're at 51 minutes now. Then I'll start it at uploading, and you guys should be able to watch it. Um, what day is it today? Well, ever whatever tomorrow morning is. Probably won't get done uploading until after I go to bed tonight. Even though that's 12 hours away. Maybe I'll do another one before I go to bed and that would get you one in the morning and one around dinner time I don't know way it works out is the way it will work out but this is all she wrote for today Rock obstacle. We have to hold for next action. There we go. Unload and accept. No more rock obstacle. Cool, huh? All right. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.